Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre, Pop Call Fan here. Quick video, uh, just for the sake of that some big news has been revealed for a certain set of TV shows that have a crossover every year, and oh boy, if you guys are fans of the DCCW shows, which include The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, which are the three, the three shows that have the crossover this year, but I mean, if, if you watch all those shows, as well as, you know, Black Lightning and Legends of Tomorrow, if you're fans of all of those shows, I mean, right, I mean, this year, only um, Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl are crossing over, not Legends, unfortunately, but if, you're, if you guys are fans of those shows, some big news was, re was re revealed this morning, like, because... Already, like, there was already, like, um, quite a bit revealed that, um, the Batwoman character was gonna be introduced in the upcoming crossover this year, by the end of this year, in December, um, December, oh, that, that reminds me, the days, um, that these episodes are airing are December 9th, which is a Sunday, December 10th, which is a Monday, and the, the 11th, Tuesday. So it's a three-night crossover event happening by the end of this year. So that's The Flash. That's going to be the show that's airing first, then Arrow, then Supergirl. So it's that, that's interesting. That's different. That's a different kind of schedule than what they're used to. Because usually Supergirl's on Mondays... Usually. That's usually when they air. Uh, usually Supergirl airs on Mondays. Flash usually airs on Tuesdays. And Arrow usually airs on Wednesdays. Well, before, like a, a year ago or, or so ago, uh, Arrow aired on Wednesdays and then switched to Thursdays. But um, uh, talking about the crossover, though, um, you know, the Batwoman character is going to be... Uh, Introduced. She. I don't know if she's going to be in each episode, but she's going to be introduced in one of the episodes. I'm assuming she might be introduced on Arrow, uh, or either... She'll either be introduced on Arrow or Supergirl. I mean, because she's, you know, she's a female character, so naturally she c probably could be introduced on Supergirl, but at the same time, she's more like um, Green Arrow, because, you know, she's fighting crime, you know, she's gonna be in Gotham City fighting crime and all that stuff, you know, she's wearing the bat symbol, so, um, there's, a, she has a lot in common with, um, Green Arrow, but at the same time, she's a woman, so, um, I don't know, we're not sure what, which episode she'll be introduced in, but we'll see, but the big reveal that happened this morning was that Taylor Hecklin's Superman, is going to be in each episode. He is going to be in all three episodes. And that that's amazing to me. Because I remember when I saw Tyler Hecklin as Superman in season two of Supergirl. I thought he was great. I thought he was perfect. Like, even I know, like, some people are skeptical. And even, like, with the Superman suit, not everyone liked it. I mean, I think it's, a, I think it's decent. I don't like it as much as, you know, as, say, Henry Cavill's suit in the movies but I mean I, I like this suit I mean I don't love it I mean I like it but uh you know it, it although although the suit wasn't you know spectacular I do really um like Taylor Hecklin's performance as Superman in the four episodes that he was in in season two of Supergirl I thought he was great he had that charisma and that um bumble bumbly nerdiness of Clark Kent and Superman that I love and oh, he, I thought he was great when he, he was in season two, but he was absent in season three, which kind of bummed me out. That's one of the reasons why I didn't like season three of Supergirl as much. But um, other than that, though, I'm really looking forward to seeing him again. And also, they are introducing Lois Lane in the crossover this year. And I'm interesting. I'm wondering. I wonder who they're gonna cast. Um, they haven't cast the Lois Lane character yet. Uh, I know they're not gonna, you know, cast like previous actors. They're not gonna do that. I mean, they're gonna either cast another big name or a lesser known actor. I don't, I don't know, but um, don't ask me uh, which actor I would think would play the role well. Please don't ask me that. I don't know. Uh, but 
I'm looking forward to th this crossover now because before I was like, yeah, this is interesting, you know, um, and also I don't know the Batwoman character, but I know, you know, I, I know a lot of Batman stuff, but I don't know everything, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't read the comics. I watch every, I watch everything superhero related, but I don't, I don't read comics. So that's why I don't know the Batwoman character. I mean, I know she is, I know she is, uh, she's Cat, Kate Kane, I believe that's her name. That's her alter ego name, her real name, her fictional real name. But, uh, she's also like, uh, le she's lesbian. So that's also interesting. I, I like how they're incorporating that into one of these kinds of shows with this character. So that's going to be interesting going forward and seeing if the character gets her own show i think she will i think batwoman will get her own show which will probably premiere next year so yeah there's a lot to look forward to with this crossover i'm not sure what the story will be i'm i'm sure that um like the main villain i'm sure they're gonna have to do something big for the main villain because i've heard that this crossover it's not gonna be as big as say the previous crossover I don't think they're going to be able to ever top that previous crossover from last year. You know, Crisis, Crisis on Earth X. I don't think they'll ever top the big spectacle um, uh, crossover arc of last year. But I think it'll be bigger in the sense of the characters. They've already said that. They've already said that this crossover will be more character driven and that's something i'm really looking forward to because if superman is going to be in every episode and he's going to have a lot of character moments with the flash and green arrow i'm looking forward to that i am looking forward to that so yeah um that's really all my thoughts about this upcoming crossover event happening by the end of this year oh oh boy i'm i'm excited i'm excited for that so yeah, that should do it for this video. Um, so yeah, that will be it. Peace.